Hi guys, Weinchimir here and today I'm going to talk about top 10 fun facts about one of the most influential champagne houses, which is Veuve Clicquot. So let's get started. Veuf Clicquot is the fifth oldest house founded by Philippe Clicquot Muiron in 1772. In 1805, founder's son François Clicquot unfortunately died. His 27 years old widow, Madame Clicquot, took over the family house and she became one of the first businesswomen of the modern times. She innovated the champagne production and she made the region more recognizable. Here are the top 10 fun facts about Veuf Clicquot Champagne House. In 1810, Madame Clicquot created first ever single vintage champagne. One year later, in 1811, Champagne region was blessed with exceptional harvest belief to have resulted from the comet flying over the vineyard. This is why 1811 is called Comet Vintage. In 1816, Madame Clicquot invented the first reading table, which guarantees a crystal clear wine and allowing champagne to be mass produced. In 1818, Madame Clicquot broke the rules and created the first ever rosé d'assemblage by blending red wine with her champagne. Before, rosé champagne was made by adding Eldenberry based preparation to create pink bubbles. Madame Clicquot launched a practice that is called sabrage, which is opening a bottle of champagne with the sore. This practice was invented in 1811. These days, sabrage is still the most demonstrative way of opening a bottle of champagne. In 2010, one of the bottles of Veuf Clicquot that was found in a shipwreck on the bottom of the Baltic Sea the year after it was sold for a small amount of 30,000 euro on auction on Aland Island. Experts believe that the bottle from the shipwreck dates from about 1825 to 1830. In 1987, Veuf Clicquot, already owned by Louis Vuitton, became a part of Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy Luxury Group. This group it's owned by Bernard Arnault, which is the richest person in France and the third richest person in the world. In 2015, the World Heritage Committee announced its decision to list the vineyards, houses and the cellars of the Champagne region as the UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including the Veuf Clicquot cellars beneath the saint Nicaise hill in Reims. In 1972, to mark 200th anniversary, Veuf Clicquot launched its prestigious vintage champagne called La Grande Dame as a tribute to Madame Clicquot. The current release is 2012 vintage and is a blend of 90% Pinot Noir and 10% Chardonnay. The wine is aged on the list for 7 years before its release. The famous yellow label of Veuf Clicquot started to show up in 1835 and became officially trademarked in 1877, which means that the label has been used on the bottle for more than 187 years. And finally, the taste Veuf Clicquot yellow label on the nose is really pronounced showing some aromas of baked apples, white peaches, citrus and hint of creme brulee. On the palate it's really refreshing, with really good balance between sweetness and acidity, lovely creamy mousse and fantastic finish. Average retail price is 64 euro and my score is 91 point of 100. Cheers! Thank you for watching, don't miss out my next video about the top 10 most fascinating wine that even some sommeliers never heard about it. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!